Hey guys, AstroDev here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make your own custom story menu or story mode in Finite Funkin' Codename Engine. So, obviously, yeah. Uh, first of all, we start with the data. Obviously, I'm gonna, let me just preface. Uh, the whole loading the data in weeks, I modified from Analog Funkin because trying to work this stuff out by myself was hell, literally. I've gone through about 12 different iterations of what I think would work, but it just doesn't because the on-song end is a pain in the ass. So yeah, obviously we've got our global, which if you've ever seen one of my tutorials, you know how global works at this point, which it's literally just redirecting the story state, blah, blah, blah. We're directing story menu state to custom story menu state. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to be typing up the entire script for you guys. So, if you want to follow along, go ahead and do that. If you want to just use it as soon as possible, go to the Game Banana link in the description so you can download uh, the script. So, we've got our custom story menu state.hx. Okay, sorry for that little slip up. I uh, realized I completely uh, erased the stuff, so I had to go and find it. So, yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our weeks. So, we do var weeks, which is a dynamic array. So, array dynamic, like so. And then we open it like this. And now we go ahead and open it. So, in this is going to be three things. We're going to have the name of the week, the songs in the week, and the idea of the week. You don't need the name, but I like doing it because it uh, just adds a bit of a visual flair to the state when you switch over weeks so name so obviously week one is going to be dad and then inside we've got our songs which is we have uh so we need to make a new item array uh name we've got uh bo people as the first song we have fresh as the second and then last but not least, we have Dad Battle as the last. Like this. you got to make sure it's all lowercase to go with the song names. And then we're going to add the ID, which is, because it's the first week, it has an ID of zero. And then we're going to add our second week in. So name, this is going to be uh, Monsters Week. And monster songs are um, obviously monster. And his second song is uh, Winter Horrorland, which doesn't have a hyphenated space in codename. Keep that in mind, because codename supports unhyphenated unhyphenated spaces. Apparently, ID is one and there we go we have our week set up and now we're just gonna add uh two more things we've got our index so week index set to an int which is zero to start off with and we've got our text so week text which is an flx text and then inside of create so we're gonna do function create and then inside of create we're gonna simply just start the week text Week text equals new FLX text with a 450 by 350 spacing. 500 is the width. Uh, keep that blank because we're going to make a separate function to load the text with a font size of 32. This should mean the text is about in the center because for some reason FLX, uh, FLXG dot screen center just like never works for me like at all. No clue why. And then what we're going to do on, we're going to quickly update the week text to start off with. And then we can add update after we've done the week text. So just come down here a bit so we have enough space for update. So update week text. Essentially all this does is what we're going to do is we're going to make a new variable called display week list, which is our weeks with our week index. And then we've got a display songs, which is an array, a string array. This 
This is going, so essentially what display week list is, is it grabs the current week that's selected and display songs is putting all the songs of the week into an array. So it's a blank array because we add it manually. So we do for song in display week list dot songs. This gets all the songs inside of uh, the selected week. And then we just do display songs dot push song dot name. What this does is it just adds the name of the song to our array. And then we do week text. Is it week that? Yeah, it's still week text. Week text dot text equals, we set it to week. Then we do the dis display week list dot name. So the selected week, this gets the ID. And then we do a colon, we do a new line, and then we do display songs dot join with a backslash n. This means for every new value of the display song, so each index in the array, it just appends a new line before each one. So essentially what this line does, it says uh, change the text to week, get the display week list dot name, which we've set up up here, so dad or monster, depending on the week. And then display the songs, so either Bobipo, Fresh, Dad Battle, or Monster and Winter Horrorland for week two. And now, obviously, it's cool and all being able to update it, but what about physically seeing that change and obviously going into game? Well, we're going to do that now. We're going to start with our function update. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort out the changing of the week. So if flxg dot keys dot just pressed dot right so we're going forward one week we do week uh week index equals and then we're going to just do a little bit of math so it's week index plus one so we get the maximum and then percentage of weeks dot length All right, so what this does is it gets the currently selected. So it essentially all this code does is just update the current week by the current week index by one. It looks fancy, but it doesn't do that much. And then we just call update week text to make sure that the change is reflected. So then what we can do now is we can just copy and paste this this specific function over like this, and instead of Doing that, we minus it and we change right to left, like that. And then we've got the return commands. So we've got if flxg.keys.justpressed.escape. Then we're simply just gonna load back to main menu. New main menu, main menu state like this. And finally, the part that actually gets this whole menu up and running. If flxg dot keys dot just press dot enter. So we're pressing enter on the song. Uh, this is where it would differ from free play. So what we're going to do is instead of play state dot load song, which is what you would usually do, we instead do load week because loading loading a song means it will return to free play once the song is over but using load week tells playstate that it is a week so we do week index like that what that does is it loads all our song data into the index or into the thing and then we just switch state over to new play state like that and then yeah i'll show you guys how this looks in game so i'm gonna have to Turn down my volume a bit. Like this. We load story mode. Obviously we got Week Dad, which is Bull People Fresh and Dad Battle, and then Week Monster, which is Monster and Winter Horror Land. So let's load Week Monster. As you can see when we hit play, we load straight into Monster. So I'll play through this until the next week loads in. Monster is finished and we should learn to load into Winter Horrorland next. 
As you see, we loaded on sync straight into it. Alright, so yeah, that's how you can make your own custom story menu. Uh, if you did enjoy, let me know down below. And suggest any other mods you would, or uh, any other tutorials you would like me to do. Nothing is off limits, I don't really care. I like modding, so I will do it unless it's like, <laughs> make, teach us how to dock someone. Or teach us how to make someone's computer explode. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, suggest more tutorials down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Astrodev, out.